We have arrived in London, although me and Mark have no idea where we're going. We don't know how to use the train. <laughs> where are we? Does anyone know where the underground is? Oh, look. Anyway, I went to bed at about five o'clock last night, so I'm absolutely knackered. What's the time now? It's 11 o'clock now. We started at half seven? Quarter past seven. At quarter past seven. And we've got, how long to get there? Just under two hours. And Mark's really nervous and he's freaking out. So I should probably explain, the reason we can't use trains or underground because we're from Jersey and we don't have any trains. I think they had one in like the 1960s, but they, they closed it up. Anyway, we've made our way to the central line. We have actually found Wellback Street, probably. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here with this tourist. Probably should have uh, just got a taxi, to be honest. There you go. Now we're just trying to find. What's the place called? London Wellback Hospital. Are you sure it wasn't there? Wait, wait, let me see. Oh, yes, yeah, so it was. 27. Hang on. They're not very successful. Okay, 23. Oh well, look, we could have just put you in there for the night. Fancy. <laughs> okay, so we just walked straight past it. Oh, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Good um, cosmetic procedures available here. Is there any for me? Yes. Some lipo sculpture. What's that? Removing fat from areas that do not respond to weight loss and diet. Got loads of them. You can get a tummy tuck. Vagina tightening. <laughs> I've been looking for somewhere to do some car from car. Oh, they do that near right here. Male cosmetic surgery. Face left, ideal. <laughs> Never mind. You can get rid of your love handles as well. No, no. You like them all. I'd been in the hospital for about, I don't know, 10 minutes before I was changed into my gown. It went really quickly and I didn't really have any time to think about being nervous or scared. The nurse that was with me was really reassuring and we went through a load of checks just to double check I was healthy and fit for the surgery. It was quite surprising how quickly it went from just sitting here chatting to the nurse to the anaesthetist coming in and realising that I was going to go for surgery pretty soon. I'm watching this back now and I, I just remember how nervous I was but at the same time felt so at ease. You can see me nervous laughing and smiling there. So we are here. This is our lovely room. Give us a wave. This is my bed. So the nurse just came and um, gave me my sexy gown and uh, took my blood pressure. And we asked her if she'd take marks as well. 
but she couldn't because his arms were too big. Did it make your day mark? Well, yours are just too small. Right. He needed a special <laughs> blood pressure. Check it out. And we got, we got, have you seen the bathroom, Mark? There's a bath, there's a shower. Very nice. There's peak things there for me. For me, I've seen more. I'm really, really, really bricking myself now. Mark, so really good job calming me down. I know. <laughs> Outside some paperwork. And then um, the surgeon and the anaesthetist is coming in soon. And then I'm going in when? In an hour? Yeah. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10. 20 million. How hungry are you? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, I haven't been able to eat since midnight last night. What's the time now? Two. Well, quarter two. It's quarter two now. I'm absolutely starving, and I can't eat for another two hours after I get out. Ah, uh, I got some really sexy socks. <laughs> what do you think of my knickers, Mark? Uh, the best I've ever seen. The hospital. The hospital had provided some sexy <laughs> granny see-through knickers. So I still can't eat, and uh, what are you doing? What, what, what did you just do to me? Huh? I'll show us your donut. Okay. How funny you look. <laughs> you said you didn't want one. I want mine, but I can't have one. Oh, it's madness. Mmm, that makes it worse. Enjoy. It's horrible. And, um... I'm nervous when you don't. What does Lauren do before a boob job? Last chess games before they disappear for six weeks. No, they're not disappearing, they're gonna be big games. <laughs> you nervous? Yes. Yeah. We were supposed to, I thought that the operation was at half three and then the surgeon just came in and then I said how long until we go and he said oh like five minutes. <laughs> and that was five minutes ago. So any moment. And all the nurses keep asking me if I've got mascara on and any makeup. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole in that. Yeah, there's maybe a hole. Mm -hmm. I got some lines. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm going down now. Oh. That's all nasty books for Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll okay. see you later. Mwah. Have fun. Bye. So it's 3.45 and you're probably about halfway through your surgery and I've just realised that this is pretty nuts I'm trying to distract myself but I can't because there's no fucking Wi-Fi it's a pain in the ass. So Lauren's been told she can't eat fatty foods after her surgery but I bet you she makes me go get her McDonald's as soon as she's in here. Babe. Also just realised, I must be a nervous eater because I've pretty much eaten half a toll brain and that donut and that wrap and I still was about to get up and go have some more. I feel sick as fuck as well. <laughs> you think you could shuffle across into bed? So use your bum more on your arms if you can. Better than just pulling you about. 
<laughs> if they're ridiculously good, I'm not looking forward to the thing. Probably a bench press for about 180 reps. You mean say that all day, but <laughs> every hour? I got the back control. <laughs> so we go to the bathroom. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Right. Are you sure you need it? No, I need it. Really. All right. <laughs> I just swim. Uh, let me see you at the swim. That's not. That's not not swinging around. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. How do you feel? <laughs> You don't like perfect stuff, it. Uh, I can't. I can't stop it. Uh. <sighs> she takes my mum. I've been speaking to one. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. What do you want to say? If you're worried about going down for your boot job, stop it. <laughs> because basically. Oh, I didn't think that I was going to get knocked out. It was going, she's going, are you going to be asleep in 10 minutes? And I was like... 10 seconds, you mean? Yeah, and I was like, mm, I'm not. So like, you feeling sleepy? I was like, no. That's what you remember. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, the question is, are you still hungry? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> No, so, don't swear, Lauren. That's right. I'm so hungry. I told the um the man in Ephesus, I said, there's some donuts in my room. Yeah, because do you know what? I was sat here and the woman came in and was like, oh, you're still here? And I was munching through the toll row. The what? Have you saved me some? Obviously, we bought three. Okay. <laughs> you text my mum? Yeah. All right, I need to text that you're out, actually. I feel fantastic. I'm sure you do. We'll see what you feel like in a few hours. <laughs> Hopefully it's still fantastic. So what was your analogy for how you feel again? Fantastic. No. How does your chest feel? I feel like I've done a thousand bench presses. And it just needs to put my hands across and by my back and have a good old stretch. So it feels like major Maybe chest doms. I probably did like a thousand chest presses super said with five thousand press ups, clap press ups. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you hear my tummy? I can hear the tummy. You What's the tummy I saying? Give me food. Where's McDonald's? Right, I'm calling your mum. Okay. No fat yo. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello, love. Are you alright? I'm fantastic. Uh, but you're not in pain yet, though. You're probably still under the. She, she really is very much on the. I feel. Yeah. Uh, I feel <laughs> my right one a little bit. Do you? My love, my they look big? Uh, they look pointy. They're all taped up pretty much, so okay. you can't really do tell. They, do they still look big, though, Mark? They look bigger, but they don't actually look like stupidly big. So no, it's, it's I right. swollen at first. How did that donut feel? That's amazing. Mm. Chewing it for days. I can have some more. You haven't even finished that bit yet. <laughs> You'll thank me for this. Oh shit, I've got dry ass mouth. Shall we go donut water? Donut water. Finish chewing? That is beautiful. Mm. Drink. Mm. 
So I'm going to change the zoo. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to have a zoo, babe. If you felt like this tomorrow, then yeah. Draw another bit. To the zoo. Mm. You want to see the penguin? What the penguins say? So, I think we've been out of surgery for how long? Anyway. Hour and a half max. An hour and a half max. I don't know why people say they feel sick after out of the job. <laughs> As we're hungry. <laughs> we were a bit naughty, weren't we? Because before they said you could have your toast, somebody's been having a bit of donut. And a sandwich. Oh, and a bit of a, a sandwich, but you know. I definitely didn't do that. I definitely didn't let her either. Just don't tell anyone. I have lost zero gains. How's your toast? Cracking. This is a beautiful cup of tea, but I have dry mouth. What kind of tea is it? A Belgian cup of tea. Because <laughs> that's the only way to make tea, you know? Belgian's tea. I thought you was very dry. <laughs> Is it? Mm. You look like an alien. <laughs> alien with boobs. <laughs> Eventually, okay? Oh, June, probably. My colleague. Yeah. What have you got there? Quite a million bags. Oh, my lord. Maybe more than that. So, there goes your dinner then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this boy is amazing. I've got Chicken Legend. The nurse lady asked me if I wanted my meal, which was like a jacket potato. Or the obvious choice. Hi guys, so I am now seven hours out of surgery. I went into surgery at half three, it's now about midnight. Um, I'm up, I'm walking slowly. I've done about five wees. <laughs> I keep needing to go to the toilet really bad and that's really difficult. Someone needs to help pull your pants down and yeah. Um, the pain doesn't hurt too much. I think before I was on stronger pain killers, 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 killers <laughs> like Tramadol and uh, some morphine sort of stuff. So now I'm just on paracetamol and codeine. codeine. Um, so I'm starting to feel it a bit more. Everyone said that they felt loads of pressure on their chest here and it was really heavy. I, I don't think that really hurts too much. Um, and I'm supposed to be a D cup, so that's quite a bit going from an A. But now that the good painkillers are wearing off, it's just hurting here, I guess, where the incisions are. A little bit. But it's not unbearable. I haven't cried. Have I? No. I've hardly moaned. You just haven't moaned, no. no. Um, just I've eaten, talking shit. Yeah, I was talking a lot of rubbish on the drugs. Um, I've eaten so much. I've had, like, toast, a sandwich. A chicken legend, a cheeseburger, a donut, some chips. So yeah, apart from talking a load of rubbish, which I think you've just seen, but I am, my head feels completely clear now. I'm tripping up on some words a bit, but I'm, I'm better and I'm not nodding off to sleep all the time, which I wish I was, so I'm not sure how I'm going to get to sleep now because I've slept so much throughout the day. But all in all, I, I've been walking around by myself and uh, getting into bed. I think this is the hardest part, is having to get into the bed because they don't actually feel very, very low. So you have to do this and swing your legs around and you can't use your hands. So you just got to like shimmy, strangle yourself with your nightgown gown and then get your lovely nurse to tuck you in the bed. And by the way, this lovely nurse doesn't come with all boob job surgeries. Not but all of them, but for a price, maybe. I'll hire him out, I suppose, if you ask very nicely. Um, thank you, Mark, for looking after me today. You're welcome. I'm not entirely sure what I'd have done without him. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's not that bad. I'm holding the camera up here myself, so. Mm. Um, 
we just uh, had our final sort of nighttime visit from the nurse and we asked her if we could go to the zoo tomorrow. We bought the tickets about a month ago, didn't we? Yeah, but thinking. when we weren't really thinking, we thought we had a whole day in London. So um, she said we can go, we can try it. So um, in the morning, my surgeon comes, has a chat with me. We put the bra on, because right now I've just got some like, have I, have I shown any of this? Some like taping down. But my nipples are hanging out, so it's probably not best to show you. I'll insert a picture here with some emojis over them so you can see what they're like. Um, so he comes in the morning, we have a chat with him, put the bra on, and we can pretty much leave at like 10 o'clock. I think, uh, although I said that the strong painkillers have worn off now, it's going to be interesting to see if I wake up in lots of pain in the morning or throughout the night. But I'm lucky. I've also got my nurse in a bed here for me. So he's there, the nurse is down the road, down the hall. I got my little button to press if I need her. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm feeling good. Hope I'm not in lots and lots of pain tomorrow and we could go to the zoo and see the penguins. So I'm gonna finish this vlog up here. Just to summarize, if you're thinking of going for a boob job and you're scared or you're worried about the pain, don't be, it's really nowhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I've not even got lots of pressure here. And like I said, I've gone from an A to a D, so that's quite quite a large size I've got to, and the pain really isn't that much. This thing in my heart, my, in my heart, okay, maybe I still am on drugs a little bit. This thing in my arm hurts probably more than the boobs. So, there you go. Um, I'm talking absolute rubbish, so I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for joining me in this boob job surgery day vlog. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can see the next one. My next vlog's gonna be the tomorrow, so the day after surgery, because I noticed that there aren't that, that many videos on YouTube about the day after. So, do you have any final words, Mark? No. <laughs> Apart from, you're a good patient. Sorry, sorry, what was that? You're a good patient. Yeah? You're hard. Apparently. I'm well hard. That's what the nurse said. I have a high pain threshold. High pain threshold. So there you go, Christine Corey, you heard it here first. Easy to look after. Easy to look after, high pain threshold. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm off to bed. Bye!